Guys, Femke Ball broke my heart in a way by displaying a relatively bad performance up to her standards. Sydney McLaughlin smashed this whole field so hard, and it wasn't even close. And I'm going to explain why this happened. Uh, first and foremost, congrats to Sydney. She proved me wrong again. And uh, I also want to say Femke Ball, I think on her best day, if she showed up like I expected her to show up, I think this race isn't that big of a blowout as most people think it is. I know it was a humiliation on everyone else, and I think the rest of the world thinks that is the true gap between Sydney McLaughlin and Femke Bull. And it's not it's honestly not that big. I just think we haven't seen both of them compete at their best head to head. So Sydney is always bringing it, but I don't think we've seen the best of Femke Bull. And I'm and here are the two reasons why. First and foremost, the obvious is Femke Bull ran a relay before the 400 meter hurdles event. Sydney McLaughlin didn't do that. She was fresh, and the hurdles was her first and only event. And Sydney McLaughlin is way better than everyone else in the field. It's not like other events where people have to try in the in the semis or in the heats. Uh, Sydney McLaughlin literally can run can run sixty percent of her best in both the rounds and the semis and pass easily because no one in the world besides uh, Femke Bowl and Anna Cockrell is running low 52s. Sydney McLaughlin could have ran like a 52-7 or 53 flat and qualified for the final. She could have ran that in both heats. So Sydney McLaughlin not only ran one event, but she ran uh, into the final on the most fresh legs compared to anyone else in this entire Olympics. So that's a huge advantage. And because the Netherlands has such trash depth, Femke Bowl has to run for her country in a relay that isn't a premier event. I know it's the first and foremost relay that they're trying to make it a main eventer, but we all know it isn't. So Femke Bowl is selfless and tries to bring gold to her country and glory. And she did. She did a one hell of a comeback with that 47 split, 47.93, and brought gold. And uh, I hope she uh, the the price she paid uh, for that humiliation she got in the hurdles was worth that gold because <clears throat> I think we could have seen a historic head-to-head -head race if Emka Bull was fresh. But even still, guys, I have to admit, given what Sydney ran, I think Femke Bull would have still slightly lost. I think she would have lost like to... Like, Femke Bull, fresh, at her peak, would have lost to this Sydney McLaughlin by three... Or four tenths. So I predict Femke could have ran like 50, 50.6. Maybe 50.5 if she was really good that day. But I don't think so. But 50.6 to 50.7. Because their 400 meter splits are actually identical. Sydney McLaughlin ran a 4 to 7.7 split in the relay today. In the 4x4. Four four. and But she didn't have to run around everybody. She was in lane 1. No obstacles. So she was just... Running, uh, that's a pure split, a true split. Femke Bull in her 47.93 split had to run behind people and pace her speed behind them and had to run around people on the on the third hundred. So she honestly could have split the exact same as Sydney did in both of the relays. So I think their speed, 400 meter flat speed, is actually closer. In fact, like about a tenth difference. And people just don't know it because it's been camouflaged by uh, so many variables, so many factors. And I know Sydney McLaughlin is going to be... She's not overrated, but I think the gap between her and Femke Bolt is being overrated. It's just that the casual fans don't know the variables that led into this into this final, right? Because on paper, it's two girls. PBs are close to each other, but one smashed the other. But what they don't know is one is fresh, she can run 50% of her two potential because the rest of the field is trash and make the, the final uh, as the most fresh person. Same with her. Uh, not as fast, but she can arguably make the final on fresh legs. But she has to face uh, a little bit better competition because she had Anna Cockrell in her semi. So she couldn't go easy like Sydney did. And she also ran a relay for her country with trash step. All right. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is... This is actually on Sydney McLaughlin's credit. Sydney McLaughlin in that race broke Femke Bull's strategy and her heart. So Sydney McLaughlin 
on the first hurdle ran uh, ran over that hurdle faster. She was on a faster pace, and Femke Ball noticed that. And on the second hurdle, Femke Ball accelerated, and she came off the hurdles at the same time as Sydney McLaughlin. So that means Femke Ball noticed Sydney was about to just pass her, and reaccelerated at the hundred meters. If you reaccelerate at the hundred meters, in a four hundred, it's like pressing on the brake on the highway. And pressing the accelerator once again to go back to 80 miles per hour. It's a waste of huge energy. And that was the moment where the glass cracked and Femke Bull's face turned from confidence to, oh my gosh, she's she's not sure if she can even maintain that pace up by the 300. And by the 200 meter mark, they were on par with each other. But Femke Bull didn't look confident. She was running over the hurdles uh, with a different... Uh, leg pattern she wasn't gliding over them like she usually does she was like stuttering and going over them very slow she was going very high and very uh what's the right word sydney glided over the hurdles femke was bouncing over the hurdles if she if you make sense watch the replay around that turn you you know what i'm talking about it's way different uh sydney was conserving energy by sticking to a race plan over those hurdles femke was was panicked and she wasted so much energy trying to go at the pace of Sydney McLaughlin, that she ruined her strategy. She was already on tired legs, and she performed very bad, relatively speaking. Think about it. Re- guys, Femke Bull ran a trash 400-meter final hurdle race, and she still ran 52-15. Guys, five years ago when F- Sydney McLaughlin and Dalila Muhammad were the, the top two of the event, this was a world record time. And... This goes to show that Femke Bolt is in hell of a shape. She's in great shape right now. Despite her trash execution, she still would have ran at one point was once a world record from Sydney McLaughlin and Dalila Muhammad. So that goes to show Femke Bolt, uh, this is not her true potential, 52-15. Maybe three years ago that was, but right now, uh. 52-15 with trash execution. That tells me Femke Bull can really shave one second off of what she ran today easily. Oh, well, not today. The other day when this race happened. She could have easily dropped that 52-15 to a 50.9 again or lower. Because tired legs, trash execution, and still runs a time that would have been a world record uh, uh, five years ago. That is uh, crazy. So that's the two reasons why Femke Bull lost this race to Sydney McLaughlin and uh I'm gonna go over I'm gonna make another video on the event evolution and uh, this is crazy guys uh, I have I've not seen anyone give props to Anna Cockrell I'm gonna do it in the, in the next video but I'm gonna bring it up right now uh Fe- Anna Cockrell if Sydney McLaughlin and Femke Bull and Dalila Muhammad didn't exist and she was training this hard without their influence Anna Cockrell would be the GOAT of this event and <laughs> that's crazy to think about because she ran 51.87. That's faster than Sydney McLaughlin's first world record. So it just goes to show how great Sydney McLaughlin is and Femke Bull. But primarily Sydney McLaughlin because she's the pioneer. She's the world record holder. She has never decided to slack off and basically plateau at her first world record. Because if she did, Anna Cockrell would be the GOAT. But she isn't. She's not even close. She wasn't even the, in the normal frame. Of the fast of the last 30 meters, that is zoom out. A 5187 looked mediocre at best to the new and current Sid McLaughlin. And it is for those reasons that I mentioned earlier that is why Femke Bull choked and lost to Sidney McLaughlin so bad. And guys, and uh, when you lose a race, don't forget this if you ever ran a track event or a race, there's reasons why you lose. There's there's the first reason where people are faster than you and you they're just better and you know it, so you're not going to be upset. You just accept it. There's the poor execution where you're upset and mad, just like Kenny Bednarik on the 4x1. And then there's the the shock, the disappointment in yourself. And uh, the this is the feeling where you where you believe you had a chance and you let it get away and you start to think about why this happened and what could have you what you could have done to giving yourself a fighting chance. And that's that was Femke Bull because after the race, she went crying to her parents. Guys, when you know you're going to lose, you're not going to go and cry to your parents sadly. All the uh, second place Anna Cockrell was smiling. She was smiling. 
even though she lost, but Femke Bowl not only lost to two Americans, she cried for getting a bronze with a really, relatively really good time compared to the whole world. But she was crying because she knew she she should have been Anna Cockrell, even though Ken, Anna Cockrell ran a fantastic time. She should have smashed her, and she knew she knows she's on par with Sydney, but she choked it. She she messed up by running the other relay. She messed up by uh, getting uh, caught up with Sydney's strategy and race plan in that final, and that's why she went running to her parents crying because she knows she messed up her chance to show the world that hey. I'm I'm her. I'm a world champion. I'm on par with with the person you call the greatest, undisputed best ever and I'm right there with her and everyone thinks she's far away from me, but she really isn't, guys. I still believe Femke Bowl can beat Sydney McLaughlin under the right conditions in a one just racing off in a Diamond League fresh legs. I think they're neck and neck, but with all these rounds, with the relays that Femke Bowl has to run for a country before the hurdles even starts, it just exacerbates, or exacerbates, I mean, the the difference between them. There is a difference between them where Sydney McLaughlin is ahead right now, but it's not as big as everyone thinks. Femke Bowl underperformed, Sydney McLaughlin overperformed and took it to a new level. So the gap uh, that, was saw, that was seen on TV is not a true reflection of the difference between them. They're both the only people to run... 50 point something in the hurdles and they're both going to get faster they're both going to i believe Femke Bull can also go sub 50 if she if she plays her cards right and there can be a day where she can beat sydney mclaughlin before sydney mclaughlin leaves the hurdles for good so that's the reason why Femke Bull lost and uh, i still have i still have faith in Femke Bull. Femke Bull returning and defeating sydney mclaughlin one day but if she keeps doing what she's doing right now running these other events at championship levels and uh, doing all this uh, distraction work with the relays and not focusing on her strategy and not having fresh legs, she will never beat Sydney McLaughlin because uh, I don't know why Frank Ball hasn't realized this yet, but you can't be uh, not, you can't be 90%ing the hurdles when you have Sydney McLaughlin racing. Right, if she was racing Anna Cockrell and everyone else, then uh, Femke Bowl can really win the hurdles, even though she can while running other relays like the mix. But when you're running against the greatest ever, you have to do everything that the greatest ever is doing, and more. And Sydney McLaughlin already run the race before it started. She was the faster runner. She had the fresher legs, and she was confident. Femke Bowl was tired. More tired, relatively speaking, uh, and uh, was running against better competition in the semis, and she folded by letting Sydney McLaughlin get in her head. All those things contributed to that massive blowout. So, Sydney Femke Bowl, Femke Bowl needs to quit the mixed relay. She's got the gold now. Focus only on the hurdles next year, and if she does it, I honestly think she can beat Sydney McLaughlin based on both her trajectories. Sydney McLaughlin is still improving. As she should, Femke Bowl is still improving. But if she really focuses on this hurdles and becomes Kobe Bryant in in the spirit, in her mind, for the next year, she can shock the world next year. But right now, as it is, there's no way she's going to do it, given all the things I've listed. So, yeah, props to the three girls. 50.37, that's crazy. 51.87, also crazy. Not as crazy as it once was. And 52.15. Also crazy, but not as crazy as it once was. So, yeah, deserving medalists.